Hi everyone and welcome to the Predator WPA Women World Tango Championship held in Klagenfurt, Austria. We are having a winner qualification match here between Pea Filler, one of the top European players actually, and uh, Siming Chen, former world champion from China. In the booth for commentating, Tim De Reuter and myself, Benjamin Belhassen. We have a race to seven, alternate breaks, WPA rules. And it's going to be a great match. What do you think? Hi, Tim. Hi. Hi. Hello. <laughs> you know, I think this is going to be a really good match, too. Um, yeah, like you said, Siming Cheng actually disappeared for, I think, five or six years. Just before COVID, she kind of disappeared, and we really didn't get to see her play no more. Uh, I have seen her many times, though, and she actually played a couple of year two events where she finished last 32 while everybody was playing. So that means she actually is really one of the top players around and of course Pia Filler has been building her game a lot in the last two three years she's really been stepping it up uh, winning European Championships winning women Euro Tours so it's just a matter of time I feel until she's actually gonna step it up on the world stage so yeah I mean they're both in the winners qualification they have two shots to qualify for the last 16 yeah this is as you mentioned the uh, 48 players event I believe double elimination till the last 16 50,000 dollars for the winner so you're pretty square hit here just a lot of spin on the cue ball and all the spin on the cue ball takes away impact on the ball so that's why the balls didn't really spread nice absolutely Looks like we're going to start with a safety battle here with a push out for a safety. Yeah, just wondering, do you go to the bottom right corner or the find a gap between the two ten? I think bottom right is a little easier to play safety from this corner. Yeah. Banking the one ball over in between the two ten to the yeah, probably second diamond on the short rail. And then the cue ball, you can check the cue ball with right spin. Some players don't like that. And then bring the cue ball to the top left corner. Yeah. It's really depending on the real angle she has because, yeah, banking the one between the two ten is okay, but it's a pretty thin hit, I believe. And they have to hold the cue ball to the side rail. So, especially being far from the one ball and close to the short rail for the queuing. So, see what she selected. Yeah, that was the shot, but she hit it pretty thick. That's yeah. why she ran into the two ball, so. S she still got it though, but ideally you're trying to get two balls in between. Yeah. So you take away the jump automatically. Yeah. It's, it's all right, I, you will see her playing the jump here because there's so much distortion on the left side. I think yeah. she could play a good save. <coughs> um, but indeed, if the, if the two ball was still in between of them, then it could really be a trap. Yeah, good hit. She had to take a, a gamble a bit here, though. Yeah. She knew there was going to be enough balls on the left. If she keeps the cue ball there, hopefully get the one ball That's out. what she did, yeah. yeah. Just got to buy time sometimes. Yeah, you are playing a zone, and then nowadays the this air rush is so powerful, and so you can, you can co really control the speed of the cue ball so nicely. Nice hit there. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't think she's called the uh, eight ball. No, I she don't think has so, not. Yeah. So, and that one ball ended up safe. So I expect Pia to give it back. Yeah. It was a tough one though. She had to kick a little bit further and yeah. then wait draw to make it short, f firm and draw. Yeah, still. She's looking at the three rares. Heard some rumors, though, also in the time in her absence, um, she played some Chinese eight ball. Yeah. She's also played some three cushion. I heard, I mean, all of it is rumors, of course. I didn't get to check this with her, but just interested to see what 
this combination could do to her game. Yeah. I know how she used to play before, so that's like yeah, I'm trying to figure out if it nine changed world her. nine ball champion, yeah. Pretty decent hit, just yeah, maybe a hair too short. It's always gonna be tough. So first chance for Pia Filler here. Oh, didn't really put much draw on there and Yeah, she had it she had to go deep in there and she didn't went deep enough into the cue ball to draw it. Even if she elevated, but try to clip the two and maybe go one rail softly behind the seven, avoiding the nine. Could be a good option. Yeah, oh, she ran into the nine, which, which is okay, but she let Simming Chen see the, the left side of the two ball. And she will hand with a thin hit on the two ball, going up tables, two rails, with left and English. Yeah, just like that. And so she won't be able to to take out the jump cue here. Using the one rail kick to make the two here. I don't know if you can stiff it from the the long rail using draw. Looks like the five ball is on the way. You really want to try to make it here. Good chance. Uh, nice try, but maybe a little too soft. Maybe she needed to hit a little bit firmer with stun to stiff it and make it. First opportunity for Siming Shen with ball in hand. Two, three, four, five are okay. The five to the six is also okay. We're, also, we're gonna see what she decides to go from the six to the seven, I guess. It's the the question here. Three automatic shots from there. Three, four, five, six. I don't know if the seven passes the side, the, the nine on the side pocket. Making sure she's on the right side of the five to go down to the six ball. I don't think the seven passes the nine on the side part. No, I, th so. I think I would go for top left corner. Just has to play a couple good angles still. Just go forward here, one reel out. Float the six in, one reel in between the ten seven. Yeah. I like how she's playing pretty good angles so far. Most natural angles, most of the time she can just float the ball. Thank you. You don't you don't want to be too far too close to the nine to the ten, sorry. So that you can cue it properly. She's perfect. I mean, she's close. I she think she can it. just r play a soft draw and have the nine in the same corner. She's playing stun. She's playing full stroke. So m showing that she's very comfortable at the moment. This is really showing that her technique is really really solid also very smooth smooth strokes he doesn't really pound balls in she Force just does anything, it yeah. natural way just let the cue do the work i mean we are talking about a player that was world champion five or six years ago so i think it was in 2017. i believe so yeah around this time uh, for sure
I was a kid at that time, so I don't care. I don't even remember. <laughs> yeah. Predator Arcos, two balls, ready for Chen Ming to show us how she breaks. Well, that's the only thing I never really got to see her break. Never see break eight ball or ten ball, so... She's breaking dead center. Try to get action on the two balls under the, the one. Okay, powerful break. Little bit draw still left on the cue ball, so no pop, but... No balls. Yeah. Yeah, good action into the balls, though. Okay, if you keep breaking like this, eventually you're going to start making balls. Now Pia has a cut on the side to go one real. Doesn't want to be straight on the two. I think she got fairly straight on the two here. Probably ending her run, too, unless she goes forward and takes... Maybe close to the rail, long three ball. Yeah, this is not ideal, but... Looks like she want to stand run through. Yes. Nice okay, shot. Okay, nicely yeah. cheated the bucket. Just Ooh. queuing over the five now, and... I don't think the seven has got her. It's close. It was a good shot anyways. Yeah, she did a good job getting off the long rail. Yeah. It was tough to do. Good shot there. It's never easy queuing above a ball. Just got on the rail again. Not that much angle here mm. on the four. She got away with it. Good recovery shots here to to find herself finally perfect on the five. Yeah, not so much work to do here, overall. Just feel if she plays a stop shot or maybe a mini draw. She gets a good angle for the 7 to go to the 8. If she Even if she plays a stop shot on the 8, she can go 2 rails for the 9 to the 10. So there's so much roof room for cue ball movement. Yeah. She did get a different angle though. Little angle to the left long rail, so... We'll have to play a somewhat longer eight. Yeah. Still yeah. a little bit of draw on this, but... It's under control, I mean... Oh, that's okay. Only reason why I'm, why I'm so picky is sometimes you see an unexpected miss because they get a little further from the ball. Yeah. That's the only reason why I always try to be so close to to what I have to shoot with, unless you cannot really do a different. Ooh. Yeah, that, that was like a for example. Yeah, that was <laughs> thick, yeah. <laughs> that was my example, you know, like if she's closer, I'm sure she's not gonna yeah, yeah, almost right. miss it. True. Still went in though, so continuing the yeah, run. Would be good to get her first game, maybe some early nerves. Maybe she's just not so in stroke yet, so she's yeah. trying to at least manage this rack. But they cho she chose the right speed also, pocket speed, so the eight ball kept going in. That's good. She really worked on technique here. You can see it. Well, her husband is nobody other than Joshua Filler, so... I'm quite sure that 
they have spent many hours on her technique, on her game, and probably even more important, her mentality. Here, we, here he is, Joshua Filler, Dennis Laskowski, both playing from the German team. Yeah, it's good because they can, I mean, support each other, work together. You see a couple of, like, the fillers. You have Margaret Fefilova and Tyler Steyer. Also, you have Christian Atikac and Fedor. Fedor who? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's good to, I mean, share... Uh, the passion and the love of the game with with someone you love I mean well I also think you can push each other a little bit more also sometimes yeah. like if one doesn't feel like putting that much work in the other one is trying to support that or right in tough times you know like if you're always by yourself then you know if you keep losing a couple close matches you can actually get really down on yourself and if you kn have someone that knows the same feeling yeah definitely That's why he's there. I mean, so some people like that. Some people really like to not have a partner that spends the same thing. Like I think it's can go two way. Some people like to not talk about pool in their private life. Nice shot behind the ten here. Yeah, smart. He try smart try shot, to yeah. try to double up the ball so there was not going to be a jump. I think there is a jump though. Took away the kick shot. The jump is yeah. difficult though because. The tree is pretty far, and there is not so much room to land the cue ball, and it's still going to be hopping. So yeah. if you jump, you you have to land right at the one, I think. I would jump kick. I mean, directly into the diamond, directly to the, into the first diamond above the six. The only thing, the angle coming in from this jump, I feel you might be kicking the one right into the four. Oh, she k she can kick. Oh, she can go in between. Okay. okay. Okay, that's a good one. Oh, if it gets there, I'm not sure. Might have gone just a smidge yeah. too far. Yeah, it was a good kick and stick, but a little bit. Just yeah. a little bit thin on the yeah. other side, and it's mm. yeah. I think the two the two excuse me the one ball is on. No, she's jumping. I mean, maybe an eighth of the eight. Yeah, she hit it too thick. Well, also, if you looked at the cue ball, she was really trying to go around the two. Yeah. Nice view here. Yeah, a little fortunate not to leave the one on the other side. There's so much traffic down table that the odds are kind of high if you don't yeah. make the ball. Then again, same thing. As long as you make the hit, there's so many good things that can happen when there are so many balls around. Yeah, I read a study a long time ago uh, about this and I think it was six balls or more on the table then you're still favorite to, if you contact the ball. To not give something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean, I, might <laughs> I think that's true. I like going into the eighth here soft though. Oh, <laughs> nice shot. Yeah. And you know what the thing is, the good point here is the one is, is in the middle of the table, so makes the hit really, really tougher. The, the yeah. target is really, is really small. I thought she was going to maybe run into the eight and stop yeah. the kill behind the seven. That was an option But she also. played good, especially the speed is good. Like She's left her PI really close to the four, yeah. leaving no one rail kicks. She has to kick two rails here. And then the target is so small. And also, if she hits the one, I don't think... Oh, alm she almost hit it. I was going to say, also, if she hits the one, I don't think it's going to be safe, too. Like, there was so much open space above. Only the nine or the two could save yeah. her. So, nice play from 
Chen Siming, Siming Chen. Opportunity to take the lead here, but still work to do. Five, six, seven, and eight all lying nicely here. So better be underneath the two to go one wheel to the three. Good shot here. I think I'm playing stun though, just one rail to the yeah. right side of the three. Guaranteed to have angle to go to the four as well. Pretty nice layout too. If you get straight on the five, so you can float the five in, you stun the cube off the rail for on the six, the seven, eight, or next yeah. to it, mm. and the nine also. So yeah, yeah, everything is so pretty good. Open is just how do you get on the four? I like shooting the four in the same corner as the three. Good control here. Really nice. She really has strong fundamentals, as you can see. Now you want to make sure you're not, you don't have too much of an angle on the six. Yeah, just, I think you would go probably one ball forward. You don't really want to leave the cue ball three, you're bridging over the seven, eight. Yeah, and you want also to be able to go on the other side of the seven ball, on the line of the seven ball to then you need an angle going to the left side for sure. Just a little, little stun draw here to go past the seven, just like that. Oh, well, hit it a little bit more firm though. Yeah, but she has. I think she has. She had too much angle on the six. Maybe a one ball, one ball and a half of angle well would have been. She also played it with stun. She could have floated the six into. Yeah. So it's. Because now, now yeah. I'm wondering, she will have. She can still play with low left and kind of kill the cue ball. Yeah, but that's but not it's easy. But it's gonna have more, more cut on the eight. Yeah, she's looking at going forward, but then she needs to catch a piece of the eight. Oh yeah, yeah. Like I, I, th eight I think over. she's going back and forth without touching the eight. Depending how, yeah. Oh. I was gonna say if she hits the ball thinner, I think it could have been okay. Yeah. Now she's going to try to bank it and create space, create distance between I those two like balls. Oh, though. she's calling She's calling the bank. No, no, I was talking about playing safe yeah, here. Yeah, the safety bank, yeah. Well, she called it probably just in case. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, oh. that, that was the shot I was talking you know about. What is even more interesting is how good she's played the cue ball. Yeah. Really, this is, uh, this is really a world-class shot. No joke. Yeah. I, how often do you... Leak the cue ball just a hair too far, a hair yeah. too short. Yeah, actually, it's a bonus. I mean, when you're playing that that kind of shots, the snooker is a, a big bonus here. You you want you really want to create distance, and maybe the target is to put the the cue ball far, uh, not far from the the end rails, so that you open on can't cue it properly. But yeah, I just feel the play nowadays. Everybody's playing so strong that actually. The the safe to get the safety behind the nine almost has to be your target too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to get there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because That's now true. Even you see, she hooked her and she still kicked at it and hit the yeah, ball. Yeah. I feel everybody has been kicking the balls better, jumping the balls better. So true. Well, in this case, it worked out for Chen. How well she hit that eight. Stop shot <laughs> here on the nine. She made it look easy, but good quality here. Plays the shots with quite a lot of authority too. Yeah. Not scared to play full stroke on the shot. So 2-1, Chen leading. Interesting safety battle, this rack. Yeah. Oh, 
our referee for this match, Florian Rettenbacher from Austria itself. Also a EPBF referee, followed the course, has been doing it for quite some years. He was also here last year. I didn't know he was from Austria. I know him, but I didn't know he was from Austria. Yeah, glad to see that the EPBF is trying to help us out with with the referees too. Like yeah. the referees are always very solid. Yeah, they have a lot of experience. They have boot camps also to to make sure they're yeah. still uh, non knowledgeable. Yeah. Nine ball maybe on the side. Ooh. You know, I actually do really like how much energy she puts into the break. I just have not seen so many people break successfully from the center. Yeah. I just don't really get to see it that often. Yeah, I thought she would have moved a little bit on one side or another because she's she really breaks full in the face with no angle. Good shot here. I think she's found the double up. So yeah. no jump and no kick. Yeah, only f only to the short rail and without w avoiding the nine. So it's only a one long rail kick. Yeah, and also I feel, I'm wondering now, like what kind of speed would I try to kick this? Because, you know, if you hit it full in the face, I was going to say she's going to try and hit it more speed, but it was going to make the kick more difficult. And actually, she's made a pretty good hit and unfortunate to yeah. take the three. Yeah, but actually, on those type of kick shots, I'm happy to make contact and not sell out. Yeah, yeah for sure. I mean, yeah. I'd rather have this, but on the other side, she would have played a decent kick, would have hooked Pia, then the three ball fell. So yeah. now, in this case, I like to kick softer. So if I don't make it, hopefully the six comes into play. I like the speed, I love it. Yeah. Okay, well, in this case, the 6 didn't come into play perfect, but she really has played a good speed. Yeah, so absolutely. Not sell out the one that often. Yeah. This is kind of a kicking for containing and yeah, be able I mean to stay alive in the, in the rack. With many players nowadays, they figured out at what kind of speeds they get lucky at. Yeah. Or lucky, I mean... Doing yeah, yeah, yeah. it that way, you're not lucky, but everybody calls it still lucky. Because yeah, you, you're never 100% sure about it. No, but there's nothing more you can do. Yeah. Choose the right speed, the right stroke. Maybe the right side of the ball yeah. sometimes, I guess. To stay alive. So I don't think this one ball goes to the bottom right corner. It does go in the side, but yeah. then the position for the two is big challenge. Yeah, she, maybe she's, she's going to, to go all the way down to pocket the the two ball in the same side pocket. Oh no, okay, she's... She's played safe. Yeah. I like this because she knows she can't sell out with where the five ball is. Yeah. On the other side, I think it's also a little basic and she's leaving yeah. Pia a pretty good chance here to play a good safety. Yeah, this is what we call a containing. I mean, she didn't want to take any risks. So yeah, yeah, so it, it was more containing, but it's always... I don't like to play containing too much in a match. Yeah. But let's see what she plays. I think... Yeah, it's n not that she many... She can bank the one ball out, three rails, I think. Bring the cue ball up to the top rail. Oh, you mean in between the 7-6? Seven, 7-6, six. Seven, six, and then come too long in between the 9-10 out. Mm -hmm. And then with tops left, hopefully get the cue ball behind the 7. I think that's a pretty good shot. She just tried to get the two ball yeah. involved. That was a touchy shot. I don't think the cue ball was going to make the two ball unless the one ball was going to come back more. Yeah. So then which you could have been good. Then you yeah, then you ask yourself would I rather have the the, the stick behind the two or do I just want to make sure I don't sell out the one? Yeah. Oh, she really juiced that cue ball up. This is nice. What a shot from Chen Siming. Yeah. Good choice here. Catch the the line two well between the behind the six. Yeah, tough times for for Pia Filler to 
try to hit this one maybe yeah maybe stiff it two rails like this wow great shot here this is a really good hit yeah and especially what I like is the way how she's played that with so much pace hoping that if she hits the ball she's gonna separate them yeah yeah yeah. she's got quite some distance on this one ball just by the way how she's played it so pretty yeah pretty good shot she left a long shot and it's never easy to to keep the cue ball control I don't know if the two ball passes the five yeah it looks like I just think it's tough to really I mean you will have to play soft, yeah. you have to run to the four, and if yeah, you don't make this the one, it's a big sellout. Yeah, this is tough. That's why she... Yeah, I like this. This is conservative, and this is... This is professional shot. I, uh, I think this is the, the definition of percentage play. Knowing yeah. when to go and when not to go. Yeah, plus you have to take the decisions within 30 seconds, so... No doubt she is an experienced player. She's a world champion. I mean, she knows that. She has a kind of a free shot here, cutting the one. If she makes it, she get a shot on the two. Oh, she, she just touched the nine, which is okay. She still have a shot on the one. I mean, she can play safe or she can go for it, but the one ball was really amazing yeah possibly not trying to kiss the nine that's how she ended up on the short rail if she doesn't catch the kiss I think she would actually be on the two yeah now if she doesn't like it she can bring the cue ball behind the six and bang the two ball underneath the four eight if she doesn't like it oops I thought the the cue ball would uh, would scratch in the top left well, she got really close on scratching. Yeah. Yeah, not sure if that two ball really went. She's got second prize here, though. That's a nice shot there. Call I mean it in the side, probably. Yeah. And then bring the cue ball behind the six, maybe. Whoop. That nice hit. And yeah. look at this bonus. Mm. What's a bonus here for Chen? That but she hit it that, that good, yeah. She hit it, I mean, she almost made it. It's yeah. just that she would have sent the two ball in the open, though. So, jump cue is out. We're going airborne. I don't know if it passes the nine, but did she call it? Need some luck. And... Not sure how much luck she got on this two ball. Yeah, I did think it get behind the six enough? This one, one. No, I don't think so. I think she has it. If it doesn't, then still there is another safety. Though. Well, well, the thing that's tough is she will have to play with a lot of left to make sure she can make the four, uh, the two to get to the four is a different story, though. Yeah, she'll have to play double speed, and then the two gets more. Who? Interesting play there. Yeah, she she really tried to go three rails and stop to shoot the the four on the bottom right. I think. I like the line she's chosen. She's just hit it a little bit firm, and this four, yeah. this four is missable. But I think she chose to to use the lo the high ball here on the two ball to try to slow it down on the second rail, but it didn't really work that way. Oh, wow, stop it. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> she could yeah. not have played that any better. This is do or die, but this is go. This is going all in. This is commitment and conviction, so... Well, and she also executed it really yeah. good, though. Like, it was a very solid strike, so... Great shot from... Seeming Chen. And this is to take the lead. I meant not the league, the the break.
that was really a great bank shot there to, to take this rack. Even if it was kind of a dead bank shot. Well, it's such a huge swing too to the yeah. match. If she had not made the four, Pia could level the score two each. Now she actually made that two game gap. Yeah. Yeah, this is huge. This is decision, conviction. So let us go for a short little break. We will be right back for you guys. And welcome back here to the WPA Predator World Tumble Women Championships. PFL are ready to break. Race to seven, alternating break. Chen Ming just made a great bank shot. Absolutely, yeah. Such a big swing to go two each or three one up. And this makes a huge difference. Well, again, Pia has broke. Broken the ball is not bad, but then so much spin on the cue ball. She has been hitting it. You see the cue is going to the outside all the time. Yeah. So that means she's always going to strike with the spin. Le uh, right spin, yeah. Yeah, mm. and, well, the one ball is open. She can get decent on the two. The rack is wide open. Three, four, five on the same side. So this could be very costly for Pia. Yeah. Actually, the cue ball on this type of shot is not easy to control, especially on a slidey table, but... See how she stroke it. Yeah, just goes over one rail, possible two, but soft. Yeah, that's. A g I think she lost the cue ball here. She under hit it. Yeah. I feel the cue ball turned on her, lost the draw. She moved a little bit of her body just before the last backswing. That's maybe like a technical mistake due to pressure and tension. Possibly. Also, maybe it, the shot was a little nervy, knowing that the table plays pretty fast. So yeah. You know, while holding the ball, trying to take just a hair of that that strike, and then hmm. cue ball starts turning a little bit more. You know how it goes. So the main thing is, Pia Filler has some chance to at least turn it around. Yeah. I was thinking maybe she can play the kick here. Kick, stick the cue ball there, and bring the one ball yeah. down. She could also bank this and bring the cue ball behind the three, four. Like this. Yeah. I like this shot Doesn't because the one ball is really containing here. I like this shot. How much? No, she played it well. I don't think there's a window between. Oh. Wow. If, if I don't think so. If it's there, it's actually quite unfortunate. Yeah. 
No, no, I don't think so. I, I l really love the way she played it because it was really a solid containing. She's kicking at the corner. I don't know if it's one or two rears. I think it's... W yeah. That was tough to kick just one rear. Just a little stun bit it. too much draw. Yeah. So tough to judge that though. Yeah, it was not so far actually. Maybe just a little less draw in it. So yeah, one, two, not too tough. We'll have to stun to the center of the table. Couple things I would be careful with is you need to get to where the cue ball is now on the four. If you end up a little bit too high, you will have to yeah. shoot the five in the top right corner, which is not yeah, horrible, which is not the end of the world. It could be just a little easier, you know, if you yeah. play the good angles, then. You can roll the four on the side, roll the five on the side. Actually, I don't like to roll the five on the side too much, but I mean, she's in a good I would be trying where spot. the cue ball is now. Yeah. That's what I would like, and then you can just float it in and always have the six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a less a shot you most of the time will make. <laughs> oh. It's all, she's okay. Sh she has to cut it and going three rails to the center of the table. I mean, it's it's not risky, but no. ideal is different. But it's quite thin. It's tough to judge the angle from where we are, but I think she she has to cut it really thin, so the cue ball is going to travel. Oh, that's okay. She got away with Played it. it nice and smooth. Maybe a, a little, little bit short though, but still. Just Still okay. Thing. She might have to draw her way out, like power draw. Oh, because you think so? I, I, would, think I would go two rails, avoiding the 10. I, I don't know. It's it's tough to say from here, but... I feel she's... No, she can go two rails here. I don't think she's going to power draw that. No. Avoid yeah, she missed yeah. the 10. Okay. But again... She's on the wrong side of the seven. I don't think she. I don't think she can hold the cue ball here. I don't know. She, she's not really on the wrong side, but she did get a little bit too yeah, far. So a she's a bit got too, too far. Much yeah. Angle, yeah. Maybe she, she can, can go. Yeah. She can go around the nine. Yeah. I think. You're, you yeah. know, you're always gonna be around the nine. So the oh, oh, she tried to hold it. Yeah, which is tough. Like the shot itself is not tough, but to really hold it so good. She's got a little much angle here on the nine, so he's either gonna roll it in and take I would a go cut around the ten, or go. Yeah, yeah, but it's. I would go around. Yeah, I would do this. Not too low. Just, just below the side pocket, going three rails. Yeah, perfect shot. That's that's great. Yeah, perfect. So 3-2, at least she's trying to hang in there. I know her break has not been working so much, but... Yeah, actually, m uh, early miss on the one ball for Siming Chen in that rack. Yeah. Allow her to, to play a good safety shot on the one to take the... to take this one, uh, take this rack, so... But yeah, did take a good initiative in this rack. I mean, a couple good shots. I feel she also settled down a little bit more now yeah. in this match. Which Chen, in some kind of way, she started off really sharp. Yeah, true. And that's a dynamic you will find in any match too. Is like you just don't know how your opponent is going to show up, how you show up, how you feel in the beginning, what happens during the match. Yeah. Most of the players, they start to play really great till the end. And some of them, they start really good and they break down till the end. Like it's, Plus it's so many dynamics. Yeah. Plus, it's a, it's a winner qualification here. 
So the winner of this match is r is going into the money. So it had a, l a little bit more pressure maybe on the on the players. So a scratch on the break. Still a dry break also. So yeah. Still wondering why she's sticking so much to the center. Yeah. Depending if the four goes, this could get really tactical. Don't think the four ball goes, so maybe on the side. Oh no. Don't think anywhere. No, yeah. no, no. And then the three is not a shot you can open the six four with because where yeah. the eight is. The two, well, makes no reason to shoot the two and open up the six eight because you won't uh six four. Because you yeah. won't be on the three. Maybe she'll just play safe out of the four ball. Or on the three ball. Or on the three ball, with yeah. where the eight is. I think she's looking at that. Could be just a stop shot. Yeah. So Actually, almost two stop shots. One on the two and one on the three. Almost. Yeah, like that. But then the thing is, you have to put the three into a situation where you can open up the four and six which would be sending the three ball long rail, short rail, and up even into the 4-6. Well, maybe on the other long rail, though. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Yeah, and now if she yeah. can get ball in hand, she's played this good, though. Mini. Yeah, because again, the, the three ball is really small target from here. Yeah, and she has to go probably more than one rail. Yeah. I don't see... Well, she could go one rail around the five, but I think going... Coming in two rails has better results. Yeah, if, if it's possible, I don't know. Oh, she's going oh, the she's other going way around. So she might not be able to go I don't short rail. Like, I don't like it to go over the top side because you're pushing the three to just the five and the ten. Yeah. You don't have that many, that many safety options. But maybe she's frozen on the eight. It's tough to say from here, but yeah. Anyway, it's a good safety shot from... Yeah, filler here. Yeah, it's a good shot. A nice hit. Yeah. Just needs some roll. Yeah, I think I think she has it because the three ten combination is not a gimme at all. I mean this is for sure okay for Chen. She made a good hit though. Very good hit because it was not easy. The three ball was a small target here. Yeah, so in the WPA rules the early ten balls do not give you the win, so even though she makes the 310, and still she will need some angle to open up the 46. Yeah. Yeah, the, the shot clock got her, I think. Which is not a big deal because the 6 4 is still in a tough situation, and the 3 ball does not allow her to go anywhere here. So. I'm just wondering this. Can she play the kick and stick? Kick the three ball out hard and stick the cue ball there? Yeah. M maybe she's going to try to play something more conservative, like draw a shot on the three and then try to play some kind of a safety out of the four. Maybe three reels around the 10-5. Yeah. But I wonder if the four ball is yeah. going to be in the open. I think it's going to go up to the open side of the table. Yeah, she can also push the, um, the four ball to the side rail using the nine or the seven maybe. Just just soft rolling it. Yeah, I like that. I like this shot, but it could have been, she could have hit this a little thicker and tried to stay above the seven. Well, still, she does have another backup, though, with the 510. Mm. Nice shot here, though. That's a great smart shot here. She's opened up the 5, and I don't really feel there is much kicking here. Yeah. But then I don't think the 4 ball passes now. <laughs> she opened up the 5, but... Maybe she she blocked the four. She's called a ten ball. I like this though. Short. We'll yeah, have to spin rail, the cue yeah. ball a bit. Three rail first. But yeah, I would probably go soft at this. Wow. Soft and catch the edge to the four and hopefully get the ten in between. Yeah. Yeah, but when you play really soft on this type of slidey tables, then it opens up a lot. I mean... 
Uh, good effort though. She yeah. was not too far off, and also knowing she did not automatically sell it. Uh, yeah, on you the mentioned floor. that she was playing three cushion also, so maybe that was she chose to. Yeah, maybe a little bit more firm. Yeah. Way they don't they don't usually play that sensitive. Yeah, Pia sent the four ball into a zone where the six and the eight w are blockers. So now again, tough time for Siming Shen to to try to make contact. Yeah, only a one rail kick to the short rail. Just a s just a side note: nobody confirmed with me yet if she was playing three cushion. I just heard it. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm yeah, okay, okay. Not hundred percent sure, but. Oh, yeah, that was a good effort, but that was tough. I mean, the four ball was a small ball here. Yeah. Oh, she's on two. She's on two scratches now. Yeah, I just. Everything was wide in the open. Yeah. Now. Yeah, but again, the six to the seven is not a gimme. I a think little it's, work. I think it's okay though if she can get pretty close to the five then there's multiple options to get to on the six yeah but it doesn't pass it doesn't pass the eight on the side i believe yeah i mean well i mean you will have to watch the cube like it, you have to play some good angles she could play also forward on the four and like shoot it to the other corner to be closer on the five see she left herself a little more I mean, it's peripheral preference. I I really like to play ball in hand with top spin because then you get a little bit better feel of yeah. the speed. True. She's played a withdraw and just came up a little short, and yeah, now she is unsatisfied with where she's at. Yeah, because the six ball is blocked by the nine on the top right and by the eight on the side. What about the top side of the six in the bottom right corner, close to your work? Mm, I think she ran into the six here. Ouch! Did that just get behind the nine? It's close. That would be a really bad roll for her. I think it still yeah. goes, but we'll see on her facial expression. Yeah, but she, she doesn't have that much time and to take a decision. And also, yeah, she's already spent 15 seconds just figuring out if she can hit the yeah. six. So this is what stuff playing. Oh, I don't think. Oh, I don't think. Oh, wow, it goes. this is really close. Nice okay, shot. Okay, yeah. there you go. Nice shot. Maybe a little bit more angle on the seven than she would actually will like to have. Yeah. But then she could also go too short. Short, goals, short. Twice yeah. A short I, I think she's going to go there. The only thing is she has to decide if she goes short, short to play the eight on the side or in the, or in the top right. I think in this case it's safer to play to the corner, the eight ball. Yeah, that's good. I mean, uh, a yeah. stop shot will do the job or a yeah, little I was draw. Say she got a little straight on this, so she won't be able to get any straight on the nine anyway, so stop shot indeed. Yeah. Maybe a little draw to get a little straight with the nine. Yeah. But that's good. I mean, it's probably the best thing she yeah. could have done. Sometimes you can try so hard to be perfect on your next shot, even though you won't even get there in this case. Yeah. Oh, she's still okay. So, this to go three each. We've got a match here, folks. Yeah, not really big mistakes from Chim for Sim Chen. I mean, she missed the one ball in the previous game to make it 3-2, and then here Pia plays, takes really good control of the rack, playing uh, a few good safeties on the four ball. You mean Chen missed the one to go 4-1? Yeah, yeah, and yeah, then yeah, it yeah. makes 3-2. Uh, yeah, okay, and then yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah that, that one ball in the end, now if you look at it now, actually changed the whole match. Yeah. Ca same kind of way I felt 
the pressure was on Pia because Chen was looking so solid. Yeah. She was maybe a little bit impressed also, like, whoa, she's playing so good. What What's going on? And then after she missed the one, she got a little bit more hope. Yeah, yeah. That's how she looks she, now also. She, yeah, yeah, and she tried to to get into some kind of a rhythm. And she ran out that rack to make it 3-2, and now she took control of the of the sixth rack, playing some good safeties, solid safeties. Trying to refocus, reset, just breathe. Just so far, her break. She's been putting a lot of spin on the break. Just yeah. to try to hit it so hard, she pushes yeah. the cue not straight to the ball. What I see is that she jump up a little bit on the break. She might be able to stay down more into the ball, try to, to be more compact. Actually, she hit it more square. Or more, more yeah. s in the center was of the kind ball, of just yeah. to cut it a little bit too yeah. much. She's made the one ball though, so she stays at the table. Yeah, she's called a six ball, and why not take a risk at this? Yeah. I mean, it's not, it's not often in the match that the, she has a opportunity after the break. And uh, the six ball is hanging, so she will try to control the two ball. Slow down. I think she has it. Oh, is that going to end up with a 10? I think it does. Oh, boy. Yeah. This is, I mean, of course she knows the cue ball is going to go there, but there's so many spots where she can still work with the cue ball. Just wondering, is she straight or can she at least get the cue ball yeah. off the rail and take a tough cut on the three? She got away with it. I mean, she cannot she do any better, yeah. The two, yeah. So one more good shot. I think she'll have to play a bump on the left side of the seven. Don't really think she can beat the seven to it. Depending on the angle, she's just want to roll it. I mean, make sure she has a shot. She won't be on the right side of the four, but at least she'll keep it going. Yeah, that was a kind of, uh, I think there are some misses that are, um, how can I say, she didn't take the decision. Uh, I mean, she didn't play it with conviction, I feel. Also, she might have been playing with a little spin, and especially with the cue ball being on the rail there, it's so tough. Yeah, that was not an easy shot. It was a, it was a she, catch shot. She did call the nine ball here. She could choose to play safe. Yeah. Like, it's not a hanger, this combo. Yeah, that's true. She is not selling out, but she gave Pia an opportunity to get back at the table and try to to play a good safety here. Yeah, sometimes you're feeling nervous. Sometimes you're a little bit in a hurry because your opponent is getting back on the into the match, tied up the score. thinking this is difficult though i might bank the three out and trying to run the cue ball into the five if you bump the five in almost any way you you got the save or really thin into the four and yeah i think the shot clock got her again yeah yeah but she, she also didn't really know what to do in this yeah, particular uh, situation it was kind of awkward too like there was no roll up, there was no easy yeah, save. Yeah, yeah. I only thought banking the three ball out and then the cue ball, like move the cue ball a diamond and a half to bump the five. Yeah, but which but I make it sound easy, but it was yeah, playing a uh, playing a tough 
safety shot without having time to really think about it is is really awkward I mean so now possible three rail kick I mean two or three it's gonna <laughs> depend on really on how it gets there like she's gonna choose one or the other but sometimes you get the other one yeah yeah good hit though oh I was just gonna say if that five eight comes into play but she's left it open and I mean Siming Chen has been in his in in her chair for a little bit though so yeah now she it doesn't really it, it before you would say oh she's gonna be out here she's queuing good she's playing good but now she's been sitting a little bit only kicking safeties so let's see how she feels does she feel good enough to still get it going here got a little angle running to the seven so yeah she's funny here uh, that was not easy to get straight on the four and uh, now she has the wrong angle from the four to the five so yeah i don't know maybe she'll take the shot and go in bump a little bit of the seven and stay on the five to cut the five yeah. where the nine ball is yeah i like that that's yeah, the best she really could have done yeah, yeah yeah she was not gonna get more straight on the five regardless so now she has to concentrate on making the five the natural path of the cue ball will lead her one two rails to play the seven ball on the side so yeah one thing i was wondering is i think i like to play that with a lot more right spin of course the shot's going to be a little bit yeah. more difficult but the reward to getting straight on the seven to the side is true there. Now she's going to cut the 7 to the corner, maybe running into the 10. Which would be a good thing. Yeah. And she has, she really has to focus on the 7. Because sometimes your eyes are too much on the 10 ball. And she really want to, oh maybe, oh she's going, she's, got three she's going 3 rails, okay, to, to let her stroke out. That's a good. That's a good thing. Just maybe a little firm. Yeah. Is able to stop. That was a good stroke, though. But she went a little bit too far. Maybe she she has to go three rails again around the table to get position on the nine. That's what she's doing. Good shot here. Needs to go though. Needs that cue ball to go. Mm. This is not not that great though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of this shot. <laughs> she needed a little more speed. But can she spin the ball in a lot of right? Maybe she so uses a lot of uh, a little bit of left. Oh, that was a good hit, though. The speed was good. And maybe she hit it Just a little too, too thick. thick. Yeah. But the inside is also going to push the nine more yeah. towards the rail. So yeah. probably it's True. just a deflection. Yeah. Yeah, so... Not a hanger, though. Yeah, so you absolutely. You still actually have to play a decent shot here. Absolutely. You see, most of the time, the cue ball gets away from you. Yeah. And I think that happened right here. This is a tester. I don't know if the 10 ball is frozen on the rail, which which will make a, a little difference. Yeah, it's a kind of tester here. Have to stay down on the shot, be committed. All in, good shot, nice. Yeah, so a couple good chances here for Chen, but it is Pia Feller who takes the lead first time in this match, 4-3. Yeah. 
and I just heard the ref say timeout, so I'm guessing we're gonna go for a break, and then uh, yeah, yeah, we'll be right back for you, folks. Yeah. Welcome back to the WPA and Predator World Temple Women's Championship. We're just waiting for Siming Chen to get back from her break. Time for us to mention our sponsors and partner for this event. They are Predator Group, Ritworth, Beaded Sport Academy, Yes Minushan, and Kumui Brand. And also the local support of Klagenfurt Tourism and the region of Carinthia. Yeah, especially the region here, like we've got food daily, the crew, they've been really good to the crew here. And the sport the park also is a good stadium and the venue is really nice. Yeah, so, I mean, it's not the first year that we have had an event here and every year I, I'm looking forward to be coming back here. Here we have Florian Rettenbacher, Austrian referee sent by the EPBF. And we are playing on the Predator Apex 9 foot pool tables with arena lights. Arcadia Rhythm Close, which is pretty fast and stays fast throughout events. Arcos 2 balls. Balls are racked with the aerial racks and players use the Predator bridges. Yeah, all Predator equipment. Multi-stream tables available on Kozum.com and we have also the YouTube channel ProBidia TV. Just wondering, there is a total price but price fund, price pot for, for this World Championship is $150,000. The winner of this is guaranteed to have $3,000. So even though they might have spent $1,500, $2,000, they already make money. So it's a pretty good start. And of course, with more chances to go for that top prize of $50,000. She has moved to the side rail, not making a ball. Didn't hit it square in the face though. But I don't think she's left the one ball on, only a jump. She cut the one ball just yeah. a little bit too much. But the impact was good, I mean, better than when she was breaking from the center. Yeah, the balls have been moving a lot better yeah. this way. Okay, this is a tough situation when you have the opening ball, uh, here it's the one ball, near the near a pocket and you, the only thing you can do is pushing out, try to find a way to like tie up two balls or leave a safety. I like it's pushing really the nine with it too. Yeah. For example. Yeah, but then you know, like if she plays this, now she's guaranteed to be behind the four after. Depending if she only sees the left side of the yeah. one ball. I think she's good here. So I would probably g was going to take more risk, pushing the nine and the two together. And knowing that if I make a fall, my next shot, I'm most likely going to be back at the table. Oh. She might not be happy with this. Just... 
curious why she didn't play two rails behind the four. Yeah. She could have played some spin. If she was able to go through the ball like that, she could have spinned the cue yeah. ball around. So mm, maybe, yeah. And a great chance for Pia Filler here. To take a two-game lead, which is huge in a race to seven, alternate break. Especially 5-3. I mean... Oh. It's interesting. I think I was going to play a stop shot. Yeah, but I think she lost a little bit of the cue ball there. She didn't, like, stay down solid into the shot. So now she will have to play a very good shot, though. I think it's very easy to lose a two ball here. Yeah, she's calling her extension to make sure she she has the time to choose what to do with the two ball. She can choose to try to let it near the top right corner pocket or she can try to cut the seven and send the, the two ball towards the center of the table to play it on the side. And she has to make the choice before getting down on the shot. Yeah. Oh, she was not trying to make that two ball. Maybe a little pressure, maybe knowing that she could actually make a big statement here running out and getting a two game gap. I think she really tried to play the combination and sending the one ball into the in into the center of the table to have it on the side next and she hit it too thick. The two ball. Yeah, the yeah, two ball, two yeah. Ball, yeah. Okay, this is interesting. Most of the time those shots don't really end up safe. But you know also that you're going to leave a long shot, a far shot, yeah. maybe difficult position. Here but I wouldn't yeah. mind going for this though. You yeah. can play it to the right, you can play yeah. stun left, you can even bump the four by accident. You don't have to play super draw if you just stun to the long reel and run towards yeah. the nine is already okay. If she doesn't like it, there's not many safety shots here. Absolutely, yeah. She hit it a little too thin, which is not the end of the world. Actually, going for the three had many more results being safe after uh, than playing a, true. a really chosen safety. Just wonder, did this really slide behind? or? Okay, well, there is... Just that little bit. Are you playing this with a lot of inside and play this soft and just try to get the hook behind the 10 8? Yeah, you don't have many options. She just no tried spin. To yeah, that's tough. She just tried to to hook the 3 ball behind the 10 and 8, but that was not easy. I mean, that was a touchy shot. And you have a, a big risk to sell out, which you did so. I mean, maybe just thin the three ball, two rails, and align the cue ball, the three and the five along the side rail, maybe. Oh, she doesn't see it. She has to kick and stick. Oh. Okay. Well, she's done that really nicely, though. Yeah, I like the way she did it. Again, she left the three ball in the middle of the table, makes it a little target really a small target for her opponent the only thing i'm curious about is she's played it really soft and she could also have played a little deeper with more draw and really sent the three ball up table so yeah. now she's still nearby so kicking yeah. at this i expect her to hit this maybe get the cue ball behind the 10 8. oh she was trying to hit that bottom side yeah so chance here to go for each. I think the able does go. So I like her attitude so far though. She's been really yeah. fighting to stay in the match. Even Absolutely. though sometimes she makes maybe un uncharacteristic mistakes though. Like she's not She that stays sharp focused. Yeah. She just tries to at least stay in it. This is important because having a positive attitude is really drives your actions. And so she really stayed like focused and uh, in the present moment and 
That's the only way to perform. Chen played a good good shot here though. If she ended up straight on the five, would have been annoyed. Now she has a small angle. She could go two rails, or she can float over, depending. Or st stun off the rail too, stun run. Yeah. Oh, that did take off a little bit more than she yeah, liked. Yeah, but she's Is still okay. It's okay, just the cube was going to run up more, and I don't know how much of the pocket she has on the eight. Like, yeah. the more distance, the yeah. less tricky it gets to cut the eight like that, but... If she has the full pocket, then you expect I her to still be fine. Yeah. I think she will play into the corner pocket here to make sure she has the right angle on the on the 10. I'm cutting this to the side. Let's mm. see who's right. Nice <laughs> shot. Did she get straight? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe too straight. That was a good shot, but maybe too straight. She has a lot of work to do now. I just really wonder how much she can really see with this pocket. Yeah. Like how much of the pocket she can yeah, yeah. Can she still cheat? Because then she can play low right. Okay, well. Wow. That was a stroke. Well, she did try to cheat Force the maximum, it, yeah. but. Yeah. A little tricky. Traveling yeah. the cue ball, she lost it a couple times this match so far. Now the good thing is if she cuts the ball in, she should be fine. Oh, she ginned it. Absolutely ginned it. Oh. Out there, huh? Yeah, four but she's tied up four games apiece. Yeah. I mean, good match so far. Yeah. Shin Chen running a bit with the match, then Pia came back all the way. Actually, had a good chance to go 5 3, made a couple loose cue ball mistakes. Yeah. Could even go heel heel. I wouldn't be surprised if this match from yeah. here because. They, I feel both players are getting a little pressure more, like there's more pressure in the arena. Because they know they don't want to go to the loser side to play the loser's qualification also. Yeah, of course, you want to get it over with so you can take the money directly, right? You don't want to play extra And the last and 16 also. Yeah, yeah, th even more money. So she, last break she was moving from the side just right here, but she she kind of like she cut it too much. Yeah, yeah. See what it looks like now. Stay down and go deep into the ball. She kind of a cut break again. Maybe the eight. Oh, goes. Okay, no balls. Okay, still no shot on the one. Try to find a way to... I think I'm trying to go one reel behind the five though. Maybe two reels. Mm. Just yeah, soft. this is tough to control, but... Yeah, this is really tough to control, but I think she got away with it. I think uh. she's got the hook. On the other side, she could have hit it so much more firm. The one was always going to be low, low. But that one yeah. is on. It's on. Or it looks on to me. Yeah, she really tried to play with draw and stick the cue ball right there with the nine. Yeah. But that's, that's so tough, though. Yeah. Such a long shot. And yeah, yeah, it's tough. Also, you don't want to power the cue, uh, the one into all the balls because you don't know where the one is going to stay. Yeah, so yeah. That was a tough shot. I mean, technically, it was really tough. I just feel the shot clock is getting her a little bit at the end. She's now starting to take more time to make sure she takes the right decisions. Yeah, but, but yeah. you know, like she, she, she it's needs not a little easy. bit too much time to find the good shots sometimes. Yeah. And then when she gets to the clock, she 
has to rush it too. Just would be nice to see her with a little bit more time balance. Yeah. Like a little ba more peace inside. Two rails here though. If she can see inside, there could be some good stuff happening here. Oh, she went just around it. Went just one rail. Yeah, she really tried to cut it and make it, and she really went all in, but it was a Which little too hard. Yeah, I also think it was kind of aggressive too. Yeah. She makes it, she runs into the seven. I don't think that two five is a hanger off angle combo. Yeah, but the thing is, as you said, this is 30 seconds shot clock and then you you really have to take the sh decisions under pressure and you don't have the time to to think too much so yeah maybe well this also kind of angle combination the only good thing is if she makes it the cube is going to travel off the rail and it's going to go with the two to the short yeah. rail but I mean, the first thing is to make this. It's not. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. not a hanger. It's not a hanger. Yeah, absolutely. Well, she can even stun the two ball over to the other corner pocket. Not too much stun. Not firm stun though. Oh, yeah. That's that was the risk in the shot. Like she yeah. really left herself tough there. Yeah, I believe she's gonna play safe here. I don't think she can get the two ball in the corner. Yeah, that's a, that's a tough situation here because you can create distance, but then you have to leave the cue ball near the short rail. So, oh, okay, she's going up table. Try to get some kind of blocker with the four, which she did. Nice shot, though. She also knew that she was going to leave the two in the in the open, so she was trying to get it to the center of the table, where it's always going to be a more difficult shot. Yeah. If you leave it on the rail, people can slide it in. So jump cue is out. Predator air rush jump cue. Yeah, it's really really became easy to control the the cue ball there oh well, she hit well the point is it enough i think she's disappointed but i think she's pretty yeah. good here though <laughs> yeah now that the two ball went up to the side rail she has a a thin cut on the two so it's not going to be easy to get on the three from there She might be still able to spin it in, but then there's a big scratch. Mm. I might and she doesn't have no extension. Oh! Wow! She has no extension and she does that. Wow, what a What cut. a cut. Center ball cut. No spin involved. You see a last second. She just wanked at it. That was a great cut, actually. then to miss the three ball yeah that was a long shot I mean she just got rushed by the shot clock so maybe a little you know it's tough to to reset and get back into the game after that but still she's straight in on the four on the three sorry and the four ball is not Available on the side pocket, blocked by the seven ball, and on the corner pocket, blocked by the ten ball. So, she might elect to play the um, the four in the top right corner pocket. It's really a a tricky situation here. Can she cheat the pocket and just stun off the rail? Shoot the four in the top right. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's what I'm talking well, just about. Just if uh. she's straight or not. Okay. Yeah, nice. Perfect. Yeah, she couldn't have it better than this.
Just straight in on the four and then everything now is wide in the open. Let the stroke out on the four, stay down. This is all you have she has to do. Nice. She go one rail playing the seven ball on the side pocket. Perfect. And then the nine ball is not available on the side, so she has to create a good angle to naturally go. I think I like to play a stop shot here. Just go two yeah. rails to the center of the mm -hmm. table should be okay. Yeah. I mean, some play it two reels, some play it just one reel with a lot of left. It's kind of, I think I like inside. Yeah, it really depends on, It's. I think it's personal preference here. Depends on the equipment. So if it's if it's a slidey table, then I prefer to, to use left English going one rail. I think that's what she does. Oh yeah, that's that's nice, but it's I think she she overhit it. But that's a good shot. I mean, the three railer is always a a good option when you catch this line. Oh, she's got perfect, nice shot. Mm. Be a filler. Ready to take the lead again, five four. So later today we will have a couple more matches, two more matches to go for today. We will have the last 32 in the World 8-Ball Men Championship. And I believe one more round in the Junior World Championship. Yeah, I think there is matches from... 6 to 7.30 and 7.30 to 9, two sessions. Let's see what's going on at the other matches. Yeah, because we have a nice battle on table number one also between Kelly Fisher and Christina Tekac. And Christina Tekac. Yeah, score there is now 6-5. Christina Tekac. Jessica Centeno beat Allison Fisher 7-3. Winner's qualification. Christina Zlateva and Vanya Franco from Portugal is now 4 each. Mm -hmm. A lot of close matches. Ruby Len Amit. Philippine former world champion, only 5-4 up against Wang Wenlin, Wenling Wang, sorry. And P, I feel it just missed the one ball, only to leave the a rail first on the for Siming Shen. She made it actually, but now she has to, she, she could go for the bank here as it's a two-way shot because she gets shape on the three and even if he misses but she qu it is quite a quite a, a thin hit here so the cue ball will travel a lot i don't think she's she can get there yeah she played the safety i think i mean it's a containing well i do like the fact that she's trying to play a little bit more defense the only thing i don't like is when she is playing this shot she must know she's gonna be behind this cluster uh, next like the, the uh, sh you cut the right the right side of the two with right spin you're always gonna get behind those balls yeah 
Oh, not enough right spin. Not enough right spin. Or a little bit thin, but yeah. I did actually like the how much speed was on the two ball. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. The cue ball had to just find a, a way touch out. of right spin. Oh. It would have been better, yeah. Needs the cue ball to go a little bit more, though. Yeah, I mean, I'm we can't really see what she can do here, but looks like it's tricky. She might have to just draw into the short rail and come back out. Have a cut on the four or play a safety. Mm. Oh yeah, she can play top spin, maybe push the cue ball through to the five as well, but she might tie up. She's missed the three, but I actually think this worked out great for her. Yeah, she missed it too thick because she uses right English. Then a little bit more throw comes into play. And so she hit it too thick. Good nice hit here. Hit, yeah. Like the speed she hit that. Just a little unfortunate that the three hung up in the yeah. bottom right corner. But still, the four ball is blocked by the six eight. One thing I'm wondering is, I might play for a bank on the four. On the other side, I don't really see many reasons to go attacking here. The seven doesn't go anywhere. The yeah. six is not easy. So she's going to roll up behind the eight. I like that more. Oh, needs to give all the stop, though. Now yeah, it's, it's a really tough like layout, yours, actually. Yeah. Really tough layout. I don't really like to go here. Can she kill? Oh, she's going to send the, the four ball into the five, staying behind the eight. Yeah, like that. It's a good shot, but she didn't find the solution for the four, six, eight. She would have liked maybe to open up a little bit those three balls on the well, long rail. Sometimes you open it up and some, like in this case, you know Pia is going to be kicking and most likely something is going to happen with the 6-8 where you left it. Yeah, but maybe... She's going to kick it soft and maybe good things can happen if she hit the, the, right the high side. side. Yeah. Yeah, so she's opened up the 6. Yeah. I mean, you know with how the balls are there that it can happen. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's still a conservative safety, though. It's just... I think Pierre's going to be in big trouble. I would thin the four ball and bring the cue ball three rails around, leave the oh four behind the Oh, she can also eight. bump the eight a little bit. Yeah, I just think if you don't Like play that. Yeah, the thing I is... I feel this way you always leave something nearby, so the chances of Pierre hitting the four from here are... A little yeah. higher. It's okay though. I mean, she still needs to play a good shot. But yeah, she hit it a little bit too low, but she was afraid to to hit the six, so she hit the low side of the four. Well, the only thing I was wondering is if she had played way more draw. She could actually draw away from the scratch still. If yeah. she catches the bottom side with a lot of draw, she at least makes sure she doesn't scratch. Well, I mean, still, like I mentioned, the seven didn't go, but now while shooting the combo, she's gonna open up that long rail. Yeah. But now the four to the five using the bridge is not a gimme. She has to use the the side rail to go... She has many open pockets though on the 5, so I would expect her to get some shot. Of course, it's, it might not be ball in hand Oh, she's going follow. No. Okay. That was the shot I was calling, okay. Actually, she hit that pretty good. Yeah. She Of course, she has an angle going to the right, but now she can play this 5-ball with some authority too. 
get to the center of the table. Mm. I would just maybe getting from the six to the seven is tough because of where the eight is. Like if you rub yeah. the eight, you might not get on the seven. Oh, but she's perfect on the six. I mean, just if you play a little bit too much draw, you might bump it. So, and if you play a little bit too hard, then you might get uh, you might get end straight on the seven, which you don't which you don't want at all because then the eight ball is unreachable. Yeah. Played it good though. But yeah. Fairly straight. Yeah. Seven. She only has like one ball of angle, which is not enough. So see if she going to choose to go follow, I think which is really I tough. Like, well, I like follow two rails. Yeah, yeah. You, you got to go here. Yeah. Or you can choose to bank the eight also. That's nice shot here, but ten ball is on the way. Oh and, she, and you can't she might bank have the... <laughs> she might have blocked the bank yeah. lane here. Mm. Yeah, she's blocked it. Maybe trying to cut the ten, the eight behind the ten on the left side and bring the cue ball two rails near the nine. Yeah. But if you play that and you don't get it, you leave yeah, everything wide. You know open. what? I like to take an extremely thin cut on the eight, only move it from one or two inches or three inches and get behind the ten. Simple shot, make it simple. See what it Yeah, she chose your shot, but the danger she is she needs to get Yeah, oh, that's she good. She it, she yeah. uses the ten, but Well, I think it was a little two way as well. Like you have two options. If she had caught the uh, yeah. eight a little bit too thin, she had the hook behind the nine most yeah. likely. So there was some extra factor mm. in there. She's going to try to make the 8 using a stun. Try to get a solid hit on it and stick there. I think that's the best she can do. Hit it as thick as she can. Yeah, she hit it too thin. She's going to create distance, but... She's left the shot, though. Yeah. So how is the pressure? That's what I'm wondering mm -hmm. now. But yeah, because it's a long many shot. Times, yeah. The yeah. match has been going on for a little bit. Long shot. Knowing if you make a mistake here, you're most likely going to be 6 4 down. Yeah. Can choose to play a stop shot there. Can choose to follow maybe two rails. But yeah, she's missed it. She has yeah. missed it. And look what she's given Pia Feller. Yeah, as you said have to handle the pressure when you play a couple of safety shots and the match is going like to be tight then you can start feeling the pressure and I think that's what, uh, that's what happened a little bit of a body movement on the stroke well straight don't like the fact she got that straight. She yeah. did have okay angle to stun out and always have some yeah. angle. Now being straight, she might have to draw all the way back for the ten in the side, if she can reach that. Oh, she's going. Oh, she's going follow. Yeah, it's okay she's with a touch of right, a uh, touch of left. Sorry, one rail back. I was gonna say trying to cheat that. I. I'm not a big fan. But she could have drawn to play the 10 ball on the side also, but... Yeah, I just, that's why I'm saying I, I didn't like how she played position to get to the 9. Yeah. With the 8. Of course, she would. She always should make the 9 and it should still be over. Hmm. So, again, a long shot on the 10 to level the score 5 each here. Siming Chen... Conviction, technique, yeah. still okay. She hit it a little thin, but still okay. From Good speed. From what could have been 6 for PFL, or it's now 5 each.
Referee wrecking the Predator Arcos two balls with the Predator Aero Wreck. Here, I love the arena lights, those are my favorites. The reflection in the balls. Pia Filler breaking. It's been struggling so far with the break. Both ladies, I feel Pia a little bit more. Since uh, Chen moved to the side rail, she actually started to make a couple balls here and there for Pia has yeah. not been happening so often she's cutting the break so much she's made the 9 though but no shot on the 1 and even if she takes a jump shot difficult to get to the 2 ball actually the 9 ball was the 4 Ella Yeah, she has a jump shot, but as you said, yeah, but she doesn't have no choice. She has to go for it. I mean, try to create some kind of a position play here to reach the two. Maybe she can draw a little bit, going one rail and two rails. So push out, and I actually think she's left the one here. Yeah, she decided to take the conservative option instead of jumping this. Yeah, but she's also left the cut. She yeah. can go two rails, and as long if you can get straight on the two or just that small angle, I think you're so near to the three, you should be out. Yeah, I this is not this a good push out here. Yeah, I think is a big mistake if. Yeah, only if Chen really gets out. I mean, otherwise it's not a big mistake. But could yeah, have but played you leave a little better there. You leave the opportunity. Yeah. yeah but maybe she she just wanted to to roll it to the short rail, but she didn't expect to stop that early. So now probably gonna play with some inside, or she's gonna bump the tree either way. Nice shot. Good control, good speed. Now the four on the same side. All the hard work is done here. Yeah, it looks like, yeah. Because the seven to the eight to the ten is okay. And the four to the, the five to the six also. Yeah, she can hold the three. So. Yeah, she may be out here. Does she have a, an angle on the five? Looks like she's got an angle going to the short rail. In this case, I'd rather just draw back and make sure I have like a similar shot to where she's now. Yeah. Just to make sure I have some angle and I can float the ball in. I'm not going to try and get too close. She mm. got a little straighter. Though. Yeah. Like I really would have liked to be more back. Yeah, now she is forced to really punch that She's got six ball and she's then she's got to dig the cue ball here. Yeah. Oh, she's going stun follow. Yeah. Oh, still soft. Okay, she still managed. Nice shot. Yeah. I just felt with the slide. Sometimes you run into the seven and. Yeah, right. But m maybe maybe she felt good about this shot. You know, sometimes it's only personal preference. She knows how to punch this ball and uh, she goes for it. Well, also. She has a really smooth stroke. Yeah. Like she's pr so far, she's been playing really good shots. Yeah, yeah. Though, So yeah. probably her preference. Oh, well she's about to get on the hill first, and yeah, and that was a mistake from Pia here. The push out was really, really. Actually, she left the ideal angle on the one to go to the two. So yeah. That was a mistake. Yeah, but maybe she hesitated by taking the jump shot well at first glance. There was two options I was wondering though. Like she could have pushed to a different jump shot. Yeah. She could have taken the jump shot. She could have even... What about she pushes just a hair on the side and let 
Chen maybe take the push. Yeah, uh, the, 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 the jump, jump shot. Yeah. yeah. And then if you get it back, well, okay, then you just swing and you hope yeah, you yeah, get yeah. on the two. Like yeah, because the jump, the jump shot was like wide open, I mean. To, and to make the one, you would favor her to make the one and then you gamble a little bit to get on the two. Yeah, try to draw a little bit. But as we said, the, the jump cues today, especially the hair rush, is really, really... It's so easy to jump the balls yeah, and nowadays. And so. so you can control it. She could have drawn it a little bit. But definitely the push out was not in a good position here. So see if Chen is taking advantage of this one. Oh, and there it is, making the one in the side, the ten in the corner, the five as well. The ten is gonna spot back up though, but this is the break she was looking for. Just the only thing that could save Pia here is if that ten ball spots up and she won't be able to make the two. But I no, no, it's not there. So maybe this push out is gonna cost her the match. That's a yeah. possibility. Anyway, the, the well two to the three is not well a gimme. She's missed the nine, and then she played that push at the end stage, yeah. and that usually two mistakes is enough to miss the match from four each, five each. Yeah. And some more work to do here, though. Like, of course, a three-four is going to be easy. To get on the six is not difficult. Yeah. You get to the center of the table, but then to get nicely with the seven, that's usually quite yeah. tricky. Three wheels around, center of the table. I think she's got perfect too. Usually when she you get a little bit more cut, it's really tough to get close around the angle. Yeah. Now she actually can still play stun with some right spin, make the angle close, go yeah, around the it angle. It's a big stroke here. Yeah, I around mean the corner, I think you can get there like that yeah and okay. i think it's not enough and and she stroke it well and but yeah still okay F uh, 50 yard yeah but it's you see she's tr she's how how power she put into the stun shot and actually she was it was a good shot but yeah still still okay i mean just one more good shot yeah She's just gonna play this low left quite soft, so the pocket is gonna grab the ball pretty much. Yeah. She's taking her time now, knowing she's having an extension left. Good shot here. Smooth. Yeah, this one could hurt quite a bit for Pia Filler, though. She had a great chance to go 5-3. She had a good chance to go was it six? Yeah, five? To t yeah, to tie it up. Yeah, y you were right. She missed the push out and she missed the nine. Yeah. So the, that makes two two games to Chan, and then she broke and ran out the last game. So. Yeah. So this is gonna be it, folks. Yeah. So Siming Chen beats Pia Filler in this winner qualification match. She goes through to the last sixteen. We will see Pia Filler back in the loser qualification For later sure. today. So yeah. this was Benjamin Belhassen and myself, Tim De Reuter. And our next match is going to be at 6 p.m. So, well, hopefully see you then. See you then. Bye.
the following players, please proceed to your tables for the practice for the kickoff round. Noel Tate, Octavia Bardet, table 14. Laura Gonzalez, Son Nakyung, table 15. Park Soyu, Astrid Santos, table 16. Marguerite Santos, Sandy Valen, table 17. Kennedy Mayman, Isabella Yonsa, table 18. Romina Lentz, Bethany Tate, table 19. Amber Kolchev, Kina Gulic, table 20. Alara Gaspari, Shivin Bollery, table 3. Vanya Franco, please proceed to table four. Olivia Zaleska, Wang Wang Lin. Table five. Yasmin Oshan, Anderson Fisher, please proceed to table one. So, so on, Thea Schiller, please proceed to table two.
sarah rocha, christina scratch, please press into table six.